As we've reported, children ages five and up now eligible for the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. But according to CBS News, fewer than a million eligible children have gotten the vaccine since it was approved a couple of weeks ago. Natalie Fox is chief nursing officer for USA Health Physicians Group. She joins us now to talk about this. The numbers that I saw in Alabama really poor, about 500 kids as of late last week. What's your reaction uh, to those figures? Yeah, well, you know, I'm a little disheartened. Um, we did get a little bit of a late start, so we did not receive our vaccine in most parts in Alabama until around Monday or Tuesday. Um, but, you know, I also understand at the end of the day, it's a hard decision for parents because parents just want to protect their children. I'm a parent. That's what I want to do is protect my kids. Um, and also, I'm a pediatric provider. I'm a pediatric nurse practitioner. And just like your pediatric provider and your pediatrician, we also want to protect your kids, too. So, you know, for parents that are on the fence or have questions or maybe a little hesitant, you know, talk to your trusted health care provider. That's my advice. I'm your pediatrician. It's who you take your child to day in and day out over the years to kind of be the one to make sure that they're growing right, that if they're sick, that that's where you're taking them to help them get better. And so I'd also just recommend talking to them about this, too. Yeah, it seems a lot of parents who maybe vaccinated themselves it's a little tougher to bring, you know, your five or your six year old in to get vaccinated. What would your message be? And, and especially since these kids have to get other vaccinations to show up for kindergarten. Absolutely. Vaccines are not new in the pediatric world, right? I mean, that's where most vaccines end up living and we get them all when we're children. And we, as parents, we give them to our children. Um, and we do that because we trust the science and we trust our pediatric providers because we want to keep our kids safe. So I understand, again, that even parents who have been vaccinated may have some hesitancy. Um, and, you know, my advice is that, you know, the risks are unknown with getting COVID too. Um, and, you know, we do know some known risk of getting COVID like that multi-inflammatory syndrome in children, um, the risk of myocarditis if your child gets COVID, and those are all known risk. Um, so on the vaccine, it has a little bit more of the unknown risk. And so, you know, if you're going to play, you know, trying to weigh those odds, you know, the risk outweigh the benefit or the benefits outweigh the risk, the total other way around um, for getting your child vaccinated. And again, my recommendation 100% of the time is to talk to your trusted health care provider. And, and quickly, it's the same vaccine, right, as adults are getting just in a, in a lower dose. And also, will kids, the young kids, have to get two shots? That's correct. So the adult dose is 30 micrograms, where this pediatric dose is 10 micrograms. So the dose is a little different. You still need two vaccines three weeks apart, just like the adults. The side effects, you know, we're seeing really similar to what the adults had. The most common in kids has been soreness at the injection site. Um, and then there's still the, you know, fatigue, headache, muscle aches that may accompany it. But the great news is, is that it self-resolves or it goes away in just a few days. Um, if you would like to come to the Children's and Women's uh, drive through vaccine site. It's located at the Mobile Civic Center where we have pediatric trained care providers there. Um, we can answer your questions and we can administer the vaccine in a pediatric friendly environment with um, lots of fun stuff for the kids. And you can visit us at usahealthvaccines.com to make that appointment. All right, Natalie Fox, USA Health. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. <laughs> Absolutely.